And a call to action, Governor Spencer Cox is calling on Utahs to make a small donation before filing their taxes to help combat homelessness in our state. It allows all of us to do something to help our homeless neighbors and support them in, in becoming whole. The funds will go to the Pamela Atkinson Homeless Trust Fund. The governor, along with Atkinson, toured Pamela's place apartments in Salt Lake City, meeting with some of the individuals residing in the 100 unit complex. One resident we spoke to says Pamela's place has been a saving grace in helping to turn her life around. And now I'm kind of one little candle in a world that has survived. Luann Miller says she's been living at Pamela's place for over a year. She says even after hardship, it's been nice having her own place again. We're all being tested in a way and we're all being renewed and uh, lives matter. Governor Cox says roughly 3,500 Utahns are currently experiencing homelessness across the state. Pamela Atkinson says the last year has been challenging with people losing their jobs due to an ongoing pandemic and possibly facing eviction. Atkinson says as little as three or four dollars could help make a difference in someone's life and possibly help someone move out of homelessness and into their own home. But these funds are about so much more than just helping to put a roof over someone's head. Trisha Davis, assistant director at the State Office of Homeless Services, says it's about providing resources and supportive services to the homeless. And people don't often think as, as uh, individuals and families who are experiencing domestic violence as homeless, uh, but they are. And, and so the Pamela Atkinson Homeless Trust Fund is one of the, the reason why it's important. You can make that donation right on your tax form. Just look for the Pamela Atkinson Homeless Account under Voluntary Contributions. You could also make those donations online by going to jobs.utah.gov slash HTF. In Salt Lake City, Curtis Booker, ABC4 News. Thank you, Curtis.